A video is gaining popularity on social networks, in which Russian blogger and Z volunteer Evgeny Golman said that the Russian army practices executions and reprisals against unwanted fighters who refuse to pay the command. He sharply criticized Russian propaganda and personally Skabeva for lying as well as the command and demanded that the situation be urgently sorted out. What's going on in the army? The guys are being reset for not paying their share. According to Skabeva, it turns out that we've already walked around the earth twice. But in reality, there's a brutal war going on. He declares, listing the most brutal practices of the Russian army, which are applied to Russian soldiers, he noted the dispatch of assault squads of soldiers who have been trained to operate drones. Bureaucracy and lies have engulfed various structures of the Russian armed forces and headquarters are drowning in paper reports. At the same time, betrayal also occurs in the rear, where prices are constantly rising and the country's authorities do not react to the war crimes of commanders against Russian soldiers in the combat zone. Russian frontline soldiers have a system of bribes to purchase various services including injuries, leave, rotation and even to avoid active combat altogether. According to the Ukrainian underground within the Western military district of the Russian armed forces, there is an increase in the number of convictions under the article on fraud with payments in garrison courts in Russia. In particular, it is noted that after the beginning of the full-scale invasion of Ukraine by the Russian Federation and especially over the past six months, within the Kursk, Bryansk and Belgorod regions, Commanders of various levels in their units provide servicemen with various so-called benefits. These benefits include a new military rank, days off, vacations and new category of sea drivers licenses for a certain amount of money. There is also a new trend of fraudulent schemes by the enemy forces. Russian commanders have started selling so-called kickbacks, fictitious certificates of injury, inclusion in the list of state awards for participation in the war against Ukraine, and the ability to avoid punishment for using personal smartphones. Kickbacks are also used to avoid combat missions, i.e. to be sent to the front line. Two people died in a fire at one of the Russian capital's most notable buildings, a gargantuan brutalist apartment block that viewers have likened to a toppled skyscraper, emergency officials said Thursday. The nighttime fire broke out in the so-called Dom Korobol, ship building, a hive of about 1,000 apartments that looms 14 stories in the south-central part of Moscow. Emergency officials said preliminary investigation indicated it was caused by electrical problems in one of the flats. The building forms a high gray wall stretching along a main street for 400 meters, 1,300 feet, about the same length as the largest container ships and equivalent to the Empire State Building lying on its side. It was constructed by the Soviet Ministry of Medium Machine Building, which also built nuclear power plants and developed nuclear warheads, completed in 1986 after 14 years of work. Israel displayed Wednesday one of the Iranian missiles it intercepted during the October 1 attack that saw Iran launch a wave of some 180 ballistic missiles at Israel in retaliation for the killing of top militants from Hamas and Hezbollah. This ballistic missile has a warhead the size of a ton. I'm talking about a ton of explosives pointed towards Israeli civilian. This type of missile, if it hits a residential building, can kill hundreds of civilians, said LTC Nadav Shoshani, spokesperson for the Israel Defense Forces. We will act against this aggression and when and where we decide, he added. The army also displayed what they said were Hezbollah weapons and ammunition taken from Lebanon during the Israeli ground operation. In recent weeks Israel has waged a punishing air campaign across large parts of Lebanon, targeting what it says are Hezbollah rocket launchers and other militant sites. In a matter of days, 
strikes killed Hezbollah leader Hassan Nasrallah and most of his top commanders. Hezbollah's acting leader, Sheikh Naim Qasim, said in a televised statement Tuesday that the group has replaced its slain commanders and was preventing Israeli ground forces from advancing. The militants have extended their rocket fire deeper into Israel, disrupting life but causing few casualties. Israel is meanwhile considering options for a strike on Iran that could potentially escalate the war on yet another front. What we see uh, right here is a ballistic missile. This is just a fuel tank of a ballistic missile uh, that was fired towards Israel on October 1st. Uh, uh, this ballistic missile has a warhead the size of a ton, talking about a ton of explosives pointed towards Israeli civilian. This type of missile, if it hits a residential building, can kill hundreds of civilians. 